This video is for entertainment purposes only. Today I'm going to be looking at a FM transmitter and the manufacturer is FM user and the model number is FU-X01CK. This FM transmitter has a power of uh, 0 to 1 watts. It broadcasts in mono or phase lock loop stereo. It can be run using an AC adapter or it comes with uh, 1865 rechargeable lithium ion batteries. Uh, so it can also run on battery power. And the methods of uh, input into this FM transmitter, uh, you can use a micro SD card. There's also a line in using a 3.5 millimeter jack. Or you can stream via Bluetooth uh, into the FM transmitter. The FM frequency range is 76 to 108 megahertz, although in the United States FM is only broadcast on 87.5 to 108 megahertz. And you also have the option to adjust a pre-emphasis. There's uh, two different settings you can choose from. Uh, the 50 US, which is a European standard, and the 75 US, which is the US standard. And I guess probably the extremely simplest way I can describe preemphasis is it boosts the high frequencies. And uh, when the signal gets to your radio, uh, there's a de-emphasis circuit and it uh, drops the high frequencies back to normal. Uh, this is kind of used to uh, eliminate the higher frequency hiss that would be normally uh, common in the FM radio. So let's take a look at what we have in the box here. We have our 3.5 millimeter stereo uh, line in cord. And we have an RCA to 3.5 millimeter line in cord. We have the uh, owner's manual, our operating manual. And we have an 8 gig micro SD memory card. Uh, we have the included antenna right here and we have a 120 volt to 12 volt power adapter and we have a 12 volt car adapter I guess uh, back in the old days uh, we'd plug these into what they called a cigarette lighter back then but now I think they're an auxiliary output in today's cars and I just kicked the tripod so I had to stop and get things set back up here is the transmitter and we'll look at the front of that uh, the front of the transmitter there we have a sticker there that appears to be in Chinese I have no clue what that says but there is a sticker down here that says on off I can read that and we'll look at the back here and it looks like we have an antenna connection right here a USB connection our microphone line in, uh, RCA line in, uh, we have our uh, micro SD memory card and our uh, power adapter uh, input right here. Now looking at the instructions, uh, the first thing it says to do is attach the antenna. It said uh, don't put power on this thing without an antenna on it uh, because it will destroy the transmitter. And that would make sense because it's trying to um, send power out of it and uh, there's no place for it to go without the antenna so and we'll screw that on nice and tight and now I've taken the bottom cover off and that exposes the rechargeable battery pack and I guess uh, according to the specs this should last uh, approximately four hours of uh, transmission time on this battery pack and I would imagine that would depend on the age of the battery and uh, the transmission level, the wattage you're transmitting at. But anyway, uh, one simple screw and I got the cover back on. The AC power supply converts 120 volts to 12 volts DC and the power supply is rated at 2 amps. Now for an audio input I think I'm going to use my Samsung tablet and uh, I'm going to go in through the RCA inputs into the FM transmitter. I have about uh, 2,775 MP3 files of uh, old-time radio on a micro SD card. 
what I'd hope to do is just use the micro SD card and uh, put that right in the transmitter and transmit off the uh, micro SD card. But when I was reading the manual there, it was pretty specific that it said it did not want over a thousand MP3 files on the SD card or you could uh, cause damage to the FM transmitter. Another benefit of using the Samsung tablet is there's a shuffle option there so I can shuffle all my uh, MP3 files around. It won't play them all in a row. So if I have a hundred Dragnet MP3 files, it's not going to play a hundred of them right in a row. It'll shuffle them around. Uh, the FM transmitter will uh, play files uh, depending on the timestamp. It'll go by the timestamp. So I could go in and edit all the files and and uh, give them all a different timestamp in in uh, a shuffled order, but. Uh, that's a lot of work. So I think my best option here is just going to be to use the uh, Samsung tablet. So now we're going to get down to the setup and uh, I am new to this so uh, well we'll just see what happens. And so now we'll get ready to uh, power this thing on and uh, maybe get it set up here. Uh, the first thing I see that's uh, can be a little bit confusing uh, they have a power button right here and then they have an on and off button. Normally you think the power button is to turn it on and off, but if you look there's a little RF out uh, indication right here next to the power button. So uh, the to turn the power on and off it uh, actually is the button right down there. And we'll give it a press there and sure enough we can see the power does come on. Uh, the one thing that I think is a little bit surprising is uh, the display is actually pretty dim. Uh, but anyway, we'll start setting it up here. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, start by uh, adjusting the frequency. And to adjust the frequency, I just press the frequency button here one time. And you see a little flashing megahertz indicator here. And uh, what I want to do is I want to adjust it to uh, 102 megahertz. So I just hit the up button. Oops, went a little too far. And then we'll press the frequency button again, and we can see that it stops blinking. And now we're going to adjust the power output. And uh, by pressing this button right here, uh, the display in the very lower left-hand corner is going to start to flash. Uh, I'm going to zoom in uh, to the point where you can see the display better, uh, but you aren't going to be able to see me press the power button. So that's about as close as I can get and stay focused. And so now I'm going to press the power button here and you can see the little power indicator flash in the lower left hand corner. And by going up, that increases the power output. And you have a uh, 10 little bars down there that light up. That means one watt of power. So each uh, bar is equal to one tenth of a watt. So I am going to uh, press that power button again, uh, let it flash. And then I'm going to go back down and I'm going to have two bars lit. So that's uh, two tenths of a watt that I will be broadcasting at. Now you can either press the power button again to stop the flashing or if you wait for a few seconds it'll quit flashing on its own. We also notice uh, up in the uh, right hand corner here uh, we have a little stereo indicator. Uh, if I press that uh, the stereo indicator disappears uh, by pressing the stereo mono button. If I press the button again, the stereo comes back. So now I would be broadcasting in stereo. Uh, so that's how you broadcast in stereo or mono. And then if we look down in the uh, about the middle left hand side there, you, it's really hard to see. Uh, but that is your uh, pre-emphasis. And by pressing down and holding the stereo mono button, I can change that. Uh, right now I just switched back to uh, 50 US, which is a European standard. And by pressing and holding again, it's set to 75 US. And uh, that's what we use in the United States, so that's where I'm going to keep it. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but in the uh, upper right hand corner here uh, we see the battery charging symbol. So uh, we are char charging the lithium ion batteries uh, in the unit. 
And now if we look on the top line here, we have our audio inputs. And by pressing the audio button, uh, we can change the input. And so right now it's on line. And by pressing this here and pressing again, uh, we're now on Bluetooth. So that would be Bluetooth input. If I press it again, that says card. That would be your micro SD card. Press it again, and we're, we are, right now, we are in the line input. And uh, that's what I'm going to use, so that's where I'll keep it. And now in the uh, lower right-hand corner, we have the microphone level. And by pressing the microphone button, we see it start to flash. And we can turn the level up. And we can turn it down. And that is actually the uh, level of the input. And so I'll go about halfway here and then uh, press the microphone button again till it quits flashing. And then we have the volume level which is in the uh, lower left hand corner. Uh, by pressing the button once there it starts to flash. Uh, we see we can turn it, turn it up all the way here. And uh, I'm going to turn it back down and go about uh, halfway right there and then uh, press the volume button again uh, that is the level of uh, the volume level of the transmitter output and so that's kinda it for setup as far as the way I'm gonna use this thing so uh, really the setup wasn't too hard at all and so now I have my 1959 Zenith tube type radio turned on and all warmed up and I have an old-time radio program playing, and so I'll just turn the volume up for a few seconds. Uh, I don't know if these uh, programs are copyrighted or not, so I don't want to be breaking any laws. So I can play about uh, five seconds. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad. The story of the violence that moved west with young America. The story of a man who moved west. And so that's what I'm going to kind of be using this FM transmitter for, is uh, listening to these old-time radio shows here on my tube-type old radio. Uh, the other thing I can do, too, is uh, I have an alarm clock with an AM-FM radio, and uh, before I go to bed, if I want to set the sleep timer for an hour, I can catch a couple old-time radio shows uh, as I'm falling asleep. So, uh, what are some of the things I like about this thing and some things I don't like? I guess uh, the setup is very easy. Uh, it sounds pretty good. Uh, you have a lot of options, a lot of input options uh, for audio. Uh, the other thing I like about this is the selectable pre-emphasis. Uh, you have the 50 U.S. Uh, European standard and the 75 U.S. American standard. And being as I'm in the USA, I'll use the 75 US setting. Uh, the other thing is uh, power output. Uh, this thing will put out one watt. Uh, a lot of the FM transmitters out there will put out a lot more. Uh, but the FCC limits the uh, power that you can put out if you're transmitting without an FCC license. Uh, so you want to keep the FCC boys happy. You don't want them knocking on your door. So if you're going to use one of these, use it legally. Uh, the other thing is uh, interference with your neighbors. Uh, you cannot broadcast and uh, create or cause interference with any of your neighbor's electronics. Uh, transmitter location makes a difference. Uh, if you have electrical noise like uh, running motors, uh, fluorescent lights, uh, now even LED lights, uh, computer uh, power supply, they all make electrical noise and can cause uh, noise in your FM broadcast, so you have to uh, locate your transmitter away from any of these uh, sources of noise. Uh, the unit itself, uh, there's a few things I might change. Uh, one is very minor, and that's that Chinese sticker. Uh, I can't read Chinese, so I don't really need a Chinese sticker right in the front of it. Uh, the other thing would be the display. I wish the display was a little brighter. I realize there's uh, people that don't want a bright display shining. Uh, maybe something that a display that is uh, uh, you can change the brightness level on would be nice. Uh, the other thing would be uh, the micro SD card uh, with a uh, 1000 MP3 limit. Uh, I wish there wasn't any limit on the amount of MP3 files you could use. Uh, 
Uh, the other thing with the Samsung that is nice is it has a uh, level limiter on it. And so if I have two files that were recorded at different audio levels, it will try and uh, keep the files at the same level. So I wouldn't have to keep making adjustments on the volume on my radio. So I kind of have this thing set up right now the way I'm going to use it. So I'm not really going to test out the Bluetooth or the micro SD card reader on it. Uh, it was very easy to set up and uh, I think it sounds pretty good. So I hope this uh, video helps you out if you're in the market for one of these FM transmitters. Uh, kind of gives you an idea on uh, what's involved in uh, setting them up and uh, maybe a few of the different options that are out there. Uh, this is probably actually one of the units with a few more options on it uh, than the plain Jane units out there. But I hope to enjoy uh, many hours of uh, listening to these old time radio shows and uh, if something happens or something goes wrong with this unit, I'll post another video and let you know. So thanks for watching.